Today we're going to talk about a finals week survival guide. Uh, Rec Sports would like to offer 10 tips to help all students get through the stress of finals week. The first tip we're going to talk about is planning ahead. I really recommend that everybody uses a calendar for this. Make sure you notate any time you have to work, what time you have classes, what time your uh, tests are scheduled for, and then from there fill in uh, study times, maybe two to three times for each class or test that you have to study for. Worst case scenario is you just have to delete one or you don't have to use one of the study, study sessions. Um, I would put in times that you're going to eat, times you're going to work out, and free time to hang out with family and friends just to get away from it all. The second tip is to make sure that you go to bed and you're getting sleep. Uh, you, your body is doing a lot of work, your brain is doing a lot of work, and it's important to let your mind and body recover. Um, your body actually releases natural hormones to help your body recover at night. Uh, typically from about 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. is when those hormones are doing work. Um, but they're only effective if you're sleeping during that time. So it's very important that you get good quality sleep at night. And hopefully uh, planning ahead using your calendar will um, help you avoid those late night, all night study sessions and so that you're actually able to, to get good sleep. The third um, point that we're going to talk about is not skipping meals. So again, it kind of goes along with your body and your brain doing a lot of work. And so um, two of the many benefits of food is that one, it helps you to recover. And the second one is that it allows you to have energy to function. So recovering, your brain's doing a lot of work. You really need to help your brain to recover. So, um, and your brain really thrives off of healthy fats. So that can be found in avoc um, avocados, olive oil, peanuts, uh, foods like that, that are full of good healthy fats that is gonna help your brain function. Um, and then you just wanna make sure that you're not skipping meals and that you're actually eating. Um, if you're skipping meals, you'll find that your energy will drop, you'll get jittery, maybe anxiety will go up. Um, and those are things that you wanna avoid, especially when taking tests or when studying. The fourth tip we're gonna talk about is finding a way to release stress. There's no doubt that the end of the academic year brings a lot of stress to us all. So it's really important to find a way to release that stress in a positive way. So there's a variety of things that you can do. Watching a funny movie is a great way, taking a dog for a walk, um, coming to track and, and working out, um, stopping and just taking 10 deep breaths or any meditation that you choose. Um, coming to a yoga class here at track, we have three different yoga classes a week. Uh, or simply going outside. Um, it is important to note though that um, while exercise is a great way to release stress, if you're over-exercising this time of year, it can actually start to drain your body. So you don't want to become too tired, exercising too much, and, and becoming exhausted because you have a lot of studying and, um, and preparation for different classes and finals. The fifth tip is to take study breaks. So it's really hard for your body to sit still for two or three hours. I would really recommend standing up you know, once an hour, at least for five to 15 minutes, and just moving around, getting the blood flowing again, um, which will help to calm your, calm your mind and allow you to focus more on what you're studying. The sixth tip is to come outside and to get some sunlight. The sun produces vitamin D, which is a vitamin that will actually help to improve your mood. So coming outside for 10 to 20 minutes a day can actually start to help improve your mood. The seventh tip is to stay well hydrated. Um, by watching our last video, you learned a lot of the many benefits of water and staying well hydrated. Specific to finals week, it's important to stay hydrated because um, it'll help to keep you more alert and it'll help to increase your energy. So if you start to become dehydrated, mentally you become sluggish and physically you start to become exhausted and tired. The eighth tip is to teach it to a friend. Um, so take a friend for coffee or tea and if you can explain what it is that you need to know for your test to your friend, chances are you know the material and you'll do well in your test. The ninth tip is pet therapy. Uh, animals have a natural way of helping us to relax and to calm down. So um, if you have a dog you can take for a walk or a cat or any other animal or if you don't maybe a friend has one you can go to a shelter and volunteer to walk a dog or even going outside and just watching a squirrel or something just naturally in nature. The tenth and final tip to get you through finals week is to trust your plan. Just be positive about what you're doing. Um, you've marked out your calendar, you've worked on ways to release stress and exercising, you know exactly what's going to happen the next two weeks. So trust your plan, um, think positively, and you'll do well on all of your exams.